Hello guys, Ian in London here again, um, doing another outside broadcast. Um, when people uh, say to me they've just got their Mavic and they want a bit of advice, I normally say find an open field, stay away from buildings and trees and just take it slow and steady. Uh, but for a laugh today, I thought I'd show you a few tricks as to um, how you can actually get some uh, good video footage flying pretty close to uh, trees or obstacles and um, some tricks to make it look like you're flying a little bit mad or smarter than you otherwise might do. So um, let's have some fun. I'm glad I didn't hit you. <laughs> so a few interesting shots there and some of them probably look like I'm sailing a little bit close to the wind. Uh, but look, this video is not about how to fly like an idiot. Uh, on the contrary, it's actually how to set up uh, shots that look good, uh, stay within the rules and that are flown in complete and precise control. Now, um, most countries have laws that pretty much stipulate you've got to be around 50 metres or 150 feet away from any person that hasn't given their express permission to be closer or part of the video. Um, in addition, uh, another common rule is that you've got to keep your drone in a visual line of sight. That uh, means literally you can see it with your own eyes. Um, it's that last rule that we actually make use of for most of our shots. Um, not only keeping the drone in visual line of sight, but making sure that you yourself are actually lined up with the flight path so that you can see precisely where it's going and control it accordingly. I'll show you what I mean. So let's take that opening shot reversing through the window of the Abbey Ruins. From a distance it's easy to see if you're flying up or down or left or right but distance away from you is almost impossible to gauge. So for this shot I simply lined up the Mavic on one side of the window and got a vantage point at the same height on the other side where I could see the Mavic flying towards me precisely without risking it hitting any part of the window at all. Same principle along the beach. I'm flying directly away from my position on the sand. So I'm perfectly lined up to see the height of the drone relative to the height of the wooden posts coming up out of the beach and also the sea wall. So as I fly away, all I need to do is focus on keeping the drone moving forward whilst allowing myself to get as close to the sea wall as I want, making it look like I'm skimming alongside it. And same principle with this reverse shot through some bushes. Beforehand I lined up the height and the direction of the Mavic so that when I hit reverse it would simply fly backwards, perfectly aligned to miss the bushes as I also gently raised the altitude slightly. But another trick is to fly the opposite way and simply reverse the video footage. The very opening shot of this video looks like I'm about to slice my head in two, but in fact it's simply uh, me flying backwards from a very close starting position. So this is another useful trick it's always easier to fly away from a precise point than it is to fly towards it. And uh, here's another example, Bradwell Church. It's the UK's oldest standing church built in the 7th century. Rather than try and zoom right into it from afar, I simply started close up to the front door and then flew backwards. Then I reversed the video and in this case, I actually sped the video up as well. If you're gonna do that, that's fine, but just watch out for any background movement that might give it away, like the people walking backwards very fast in the distance. But it's not all about being fast and furious. Sometimes you just wanna get a simple shot floating along just above the grass or something. So again, lining yourself up with the level of the Mavic will allow you to concentrate solely on maintaining the correct height without any danger of clipping the plants or losing it. Getting good video is half planning, half flying, and half editing, which I know is three R's, but there we are. 
being able to try out a flight plan a few times is important and being able to edit the clips to just miss out those mistakes makes all the difference. Finally, it's often perspective that can make things look closer than they really are. What started off as a simple shot skimming over some flowers ended up showing how different camera angles can play tricks. So again, lining yourself up at the height of the flight path means you can skim the Mavic along the tips of the flowers and appear to be just gliding over them. On the return part, I wanted a faster flight that skimmed past us. From the main clip, it looks like I almost cut Stu's ears off. But from his camera's perspective, you can see the Mavic was a good five or six feet away and crucially, flying in a dead straight line. This shot did take around five attempts and I only finished when I could see that the flight path was spot on to miss us. So there you go, uh, just a few tips on how to get some uh, more interesting video shots. Uh, just remember, steer clear of people and uh, get your position right so that you're in perfect alignment so you can see exactly how you're flying. And uh, thank you. Uh, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey. Right, okay. Now you've seen how you're doing. Um, have another look at the tips. And I will uh, see you soon. Cheers. Bye.